All right, Ellie, getting diagnosed with breast cancer can certainly be a devastating blow, but it doesn't automatically mean you're going to die from it. More and more women are beating the disease. In fact, breast cancer survival rates continue to improve with a five-year survival rate now at 89%. Here to talk about treatment is Dr. Larry Lilly. He is a breast surgeon at Riverside. Dr. Lilly, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Okay, so you get this diagnosis, and people are interested, obviously, in the stages because you hear these numbers one, two, three, four. What does that mean in, in the area of breast cancer? Does that change the treatment options, obviously? It does somewhat. Mm -hmm. uh, we stage breast cancer, as most cancers, from one to four, with one being the earliest cancer, and then stage four would suggest, well, is when the cancer has traveled to other parts of the body, to other organs. And obviously that is usually an incurable situation. Also in breast cancer, we have stage zero cancer, which now 15 to 20 percent of women are being diagnosed at that very early stage where it's confined to the ducts and is virtually 100 percent curable when found at that stage. Now speaking of that, because I know this is one option that I've heard of more and more, that many women are electing, even in this stage, this zero phase, to go ahead and just have a double mastectomy being proactive. Are you seeing that uh, as an option on the increase? We, we do see it discussed a lot. We see it being done. It's probably most appropriate for those women who have a strong family history mm -hmm. or where there's, it's difficulty screening them adequately with mammograms or other testing. But most women do not require that, but for a few is a good choice for them. Are there some new options out there that, that people may not be aware of, maybe that have come onto the horizon in the last few years? Well, I think the main thing that I've found as an advancement is the tailoring of the treatment to the individual patient. Uh -huh. In the past, it was usually mastectomy or, or nothing uh, years ago. Now we have much more options open for surgery for, with breast conservation, different radiation options for a short-term radiation therapy versus a, a longer term when the breast is conserved. And there's a lot of different therapy options for systemic disease, hormone therapy and various chemotherapy that have been improved greatly. How close do you feel we are to finding a cure for this? I, I know you don't have a crystal ball, but research seeming to be turning the corner or making some important discoveries? Well, there's certainly been major improvements. As you've pointed out, the, the cure rate is continuing to go up, and so I think we will see the cures in uh, gradual increments, and, and certain cancers respond very well to certain targeted therapies, and there's a lot of effort being done to find those therapies that will not be toxic to the patient, but will result in a better survival for a particular type of breast cancer. All right. Well, 89% is encouraging. So it is. Thank you very much, Dr. Lillard. We appreciate you taking the time to be with us. Thank you.